Sunny day today. Look good out there. As you look here from our various camera angles, we have been watching the sunset. You get a view from the Distillery District, 21C Museum Hotel, Keeneland. Should be a plane landing there shortly. We were watching it on that camera a minute ago. And the Lexington Financial Center. But here it is from the Pepper Rick House. Train just left the scene. And you are looking at yeah, another plane coming in right there. Uh, but it's been a good afternoon, evening for us here. Max Track Live Doppler, we are going to keep that nice and quiet here as we go all the way uh, through tomorrow as well. And by the time we get you to Thursday, there's a little system coming in. It's got a cold front, and with it, it will knock temperatures back. But it also brings a little rain, could have a snowflake with it. Not a big deal. Could even have a sleep pellet mixed in there, too, as long as we're at it. Cold will ease a little bit for now, but it's going to come back as we look toward the weekend, too. Speaking of the weekend, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to bring some stuff into focus. Some things are becoming a little clearer today, but not much. And we're still many days away, long way off. And we'll still give you the highlights as we're looking forward to that. It was a cold morning. You saw temperatures low in mid teens. You got as cold as 11 in Cynthia, 13 in Carlisle, 16 Stanford. McKee was 15. You're looking at temperatures now that are running as cold as the upper 20s and low 30s. So a 32 in Danville, pretty representative here at this point. 32 on the south side of Lexington, 33 in West Liberty. Bluegrass Airport, we do sit at 31. The air is dry. And so if you go around the house in your socks, you get the shocks. Chap lips, you need a little chapstick. Your skin's probably dry. And that's a function of that Arctic air. By the way, when you bring that air inside, you are basically taking the indoor relative humidity down into single digits and low teens, which again is why it just feels that way. Wind chill comes in, by the way, at 25. That south wind will actually pick up some through the night. Tomorrow we actually go above normal. 47 in Harrodsburg, 47 Lawrenceburg, 46 in Winchester tomorrow afternoon. You look to the east, 46 in Mount Sterling, 48 Frenchburg, continue down 460 toward West Liberty. It's 48 tomorrow afternoon. You head down to the southeast, you've got a 51 in Jackson, you've got 47 out of McKee, Salyersville looks at a 49 degree high, and around the lakes, 50-ish, Somerset, Monticello, Whitley, Williamsburg. It's all again looking better. That's also our warmest day that we'll have for a while. Temperatures are headed down as we head toward the weekend where freezing temperatures are going to play a role. Every time you see the purple dip south, that's a trough. That's also where the cold air is going to be. So you got one coming through Thursday, Friday, transitory. One comes in for us Saturday and Sunday. That one's going to be stronger, deeper, and colder. And the bottom line is the track of this upper level low will play the role in what we end up seeing falling out of the sky Saturday, Sunday, and, and then head up the East Coast on Monday. Meanwhile, the polar vortex is going to remain lodged up here in Canada. It's big. It is cold. There are some signs way down the road that it may try and push south. But for now, that's just a broad spectrum cold pattern for most of the country. What we've got going on for us tonight is a cold front dropping southward. Now your day tomorrow is fine. We'll see some clouds arrive as the day goes on. The cold front makes its appearance in here on Thursday. A little light rain with it. Not a big deal. Could be a couple of snowflakes mixed in. Not a big deal. Temperatures will be above freezing. We'll kick that on off to the east and away. And then our attention turns to the weekend. Yesterday, the modeling was taking the storm through the Tennessee Valley. Today, it's dropping a couple hundred miles to the south with a huge storm across the deep south. That's one of the models. Some of the other ones are closer in. Bottom line is we are still a long way off. We're just kind of giving you the heads up. Mainly clear, breezy tonight. We're down into the mid-20s tomorrow. Partly to mostly sunny. It's a milder day. We're in the mid-40s. Little light rain, maybe a snowflake on Thursday. Then it's cold on Friday. We'll just keep Saturday and Sunday looking interesting. Eli.